Fun Fall Smush Can. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy. If you didn't know, and if you did, thanks so much for coming back. All right, so we start with a can. This is like a can from tomatoes, and you want to use a smooth can, can opener, and I'm just showing you that. There you go. Take both of the covers, well, lids, whatever they're called. Take both ends off, <laughs> and all I'm doing is smushing one end. Perfect. And you could use a vise for this. You could use pliers. I'm just using my own hands just because, just to show you. Um, you'll you'll notice one side looks way more like, okay, this is going to be the front kind of thing. Um, I'm going to warn you right now, I messed this can up, by the way. <laughs> you'll see. It's quite funny. Um, I'm using this crocodile and we're just popping a couple holes in it. And then we're going to set it aside. Now we've got some Dollar Tree napkins and I'm going to get it down to one ply and then I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to trim off that plaid on the bottom and then I'm going to cut it in half. Easy peasy. Then after that, I'm using some sheepskin is the color chalk paint and I'm going to paint the can. Now I paint both the front and the back. Now you could do just one coat. That's totally fine. But I'll be honest with you, after I did it, I was like, uh, it didn't look great to me. So I did a second coat and so much better. But again, do whatever you think is best. Um, you don't have to do two coats. Then I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge and then we're going to add our napkin. Um, I'm just putting the Mod Podge on one side just so that I can get my napkin on it and I can center it. And then I'm going to smooth it out. Um, I'm not worried about the wrinkles. If you are, then you want to put a super thin layer of Mod Podge on and then really like maybe even use um, some cling wrap or something to smooth it. Um, that should help reduce the wrinkles. But we go on the back. Now your options on the back. So the napkin doesn't go all the way. You could just leave it or you could splice in a piece. I chose to splice in a piece. Is it perfect? No. Do I care? Also no. <laughs> Um, I sanded off the edges so we have and I did not put more Mod Podge on top like the top layer is kind of dry and I do that only because when you do the top layer with Mod Podge and you try to sand it it like smears and kind of pulls and I didn't want that to happen so I do it dry and then after I get it done with the sanding then I go over it with some more Mod Podge um, if you want this to be outside then I would use either dishwasher safe Mod Podge or outside the outdoor Mod Podge you want to let it dry really well and this is where I messed up look at can you see I put the I put a jute hanger on it and <laughs> I put it on the wrong way and ugh. so all I did it was easy enough to remedy all I did was just smush it a little bit more and it's fine I added some floral foam and y'all know I'm not good at doing florals. It's okay though. Um, but Joanne Fabrics has like buy one, get three free sale. So of course I had to try my hand at it and I'm just putting a whole bunch of different florals in it. Um, every which way it's fine. You can glue them in if you want. Perfect. Then I put some uh, scraps of fabric together and glued them onto a pick and there's that and stop it. Like stop it. I'm not good at florals and I'm not mad. Look at how cute this is, right? Hanging on my door. Perfect fall hanger. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you.